Well, once again, thank you very much for giving me an opportunity, first or the last. Uh, well, my presentation is going to be clearly uh, uh, just icing on the cake. We have the best of the best presentation from uh, our panelists, starting from Bakula, then uh, Sham, and the technology trends. Well, uh, I, I really want to relate my presentation, my, uh, this particular subject of uh, pre-media, pre-press, innovation, and standardization to the whole, uh, you know, kind of a play and a movie. This, this is very, uh, I, I guess this is a very rational reason, uh, reason behind this. The designer makes the best of the best designs. Mr. Sham Sundar makes best of the best structural designs. We have the best of the best technology to, you know, replicate the same. But fortunately, unfortunately, I still believe that, uh, you know, people, you know, tend to forget the pre-press, the key part of the whole process. I may be a bit of technical uh, on this subject, but that's my forte. So we create the best of the best design, we have best of the best uh, structured design, but what exactly Bakula said is there is a huge gap between the design creativity and the print capabilities. So what I'm trying to say is here, uh, you know, pre-press, you know, the, the pre-press techniques. Small cog in the big wheel, but I guess this is very important. Quick time design conception. So, you know, uh, this is a huge demand for speed to market because of the various dynamics in the, you know, brand owners, competitions. So everyone wants to see, you know, faster. They design it, they want to see the actual pack, how, how it looks like, because it really saves huge lot of time. It really uh, gives you a lot of enhancement on the design uh, decision making process and also saves times in uh, making errors because these, these are the errors which are, you know, uh, probably if you don't have this kind of uh, technology, you will get to know it the last, which is, which is very costly. So help to address all the segments by providing tools which can communicate to the final result. So you can actually, the designer can guess what exactly they have designed and what is going to be replicated. Because printing on a normal commercial you know, boards and paper and printing on a different packaging substrates is a different ball game altogether. Now what I mean to say with this is, okay, uh, there is different printing processes, offset, gravy or flexo. Now the artwork, the design artwork, the design creativity artwork is actually not you know, 100% related to the final print process. So the role of uh, the pre-press is that, you know, convert that particular design artwork into the right printing formats. Can you hear me, everyone? So, you know, what the techniques to create the right print process is, uh, of course, the technology what ESCO has and uh, HP has, you know, the other thing. But the important factor is, uh, the knowledge and the experience to transform, the, transform that design artwork into the right print-ready artwork. So of course there are various innovation tools available which I believe I don't have to go into because uh, the technocrats have already taken care of that. So what are the key benefits of this uh, you know, technology and innovations tools which are available for doing this uh, job? What are the benefits, I mean? It shortens the lead times and the design production process. We can also have this uh, virtual shrink tunnel which can show you. I mean, I want to go into one of the case studies which we have done it recently, which can give you the you know, uh, uh, in-depth highlight on what exactly I'm talking about as far as the innovation is concerned. So one of the, one of the key uh, innovative tool which I have uh, noticed recently is that pre-distortion factor. For example, for, e for example, if the bottle is straight, I don't believe there is any, you know, kind of uh, pre-distortion required. But if it is asymmetrical, like what uh, Sham Shundar has uh, shown about this uh, Horlicks, right? So, of course, there is a lot of 
pre-distortion required because the, the shape of the bottle is so erratic and asymmetric that it is tend to have this uh, distortion problem if it is not taken care. Now conventionally what we used to do is, you know, we print uh, on a cylinder and do the manual calculations of the distortion factor and then apply while making the cylinders. Whereas what with the new technology available, we can actually take care of the whole you know, distortion factor, which I'm going to show you in the next slide. This one. This is the normal artwork, which doesn't have, have anyone seen this bottle in the market? GG spread, the small one, with a very asymmetric shape. Now what exactly we do is, you can see the original artwork and the artwork after distortion. So, you know, the distortion which is going to be happen after shrinking, after the shrink, is taken care in the artwork itself before it goes for the cylinder breaking. So you can see how each artwork element suffers from the distortion and it takes care. So 3D visualization. Now, as uh, the designers require, uh, you know, prototyping, mockups, of course, because designers doesn't make one options. You know, we make, you make a different kinds of options to uh, see how it looks. But to really, you know, to make it the, the best, faster way to see how the design looks, we can actually create a 3D visualization of the pack. So, you know, instead of physical mockup, you can create a, you know, 3D visualization in a digital format and check very, very fast. Of course, if you have a four design, you can then curtail to or constrain to a two design, which is, which you require for the final prototyping and mockup. The, the huge process, which I mean to say, is saves huge time and money. Because you, you take the decision faster, your, uh, you know, design approval process is faster. You save time, you save money. This is prototyping. Of course, after you decide on 3D, you know, visualization, then finally you can go into the prototyping uh, and mockups on actual packaging substrates. So the whole, the whole idea, the, the whole game, uh, you know, behind this uh, technology innovations uh, in packaging is the timeline. So for example, we receive the artwork, you know, with four options from the agency, from the creative. The pre-pressed color separation done based on the printing process, it may be offset, graveyard or flexo. Immediately send the PDF, 3D PDF which can give you the three-dimensional view of your product. Stakeholders can decide on the final two options, proofing and mock-up on actual. And second is, I mean the final you know, timeline and deliverables is pre-pressed for two days, 3D visualization, two hours, proofing and mock-up in one day. So total delivery time of the job is three days after receiving the design auto. I, I personally believe that this uh, kind of innovation in the technology has truly changed, uh, you know, uh, speed to market. It has really enhanced the whole industry uh, uh, dynamics because, you know, as I, I started my presentation by saying that unfortunately, fortunately, people are tend to uh, have focus on pre-press area. But at the same time, I guess uh, there is a lot of, uh, uh, lot of understanding, a lot of uh, focus now, which the printers and the packaging converters are putting into uh, this particular topics of pre-press. And I guess uh, we have seen a lot of innovation in a recent time. Thank you very much with my short presentation.